vision is the guiding element of an established goal. So we can have goals, but without vision, the targets can actually get blurry. Um, so as in any ministry, the vision should be determined by the value. So when we come back to vision, we're gonna talk about three separate areas of leadership that can help you define your worship ministry vision. When you're establishing a vision for your worship ministry, the first person you should connect with is your senior pastor. You should be asking a few of these questions to understand what he thinks about worship. The first one is, what has his biblical background been when it comes to worship? So what has their biblical training been? And understand what they think worship is like in the Bible. This will help you both be on the same page. Another question you should ask is what their church background has been. What denomination have they come out of? Um, do they believe in like expressive worship, something a little bit more toned down? Um, but what has their church background been and what denomination they've come out of or been trained in and where they would like to take the church in the future is really helpful for you to know as a worship pastor so that you can be building the same thing. Another question is asking them about their worship experience. What has their experience been like in the past when it comes to worship? Another one is their worship models. Are there some churches that have actually really impacted how they think about worship? They really like this style, this model. In the same token, there might be some worship models that they're a bit more opposed to or don't feel as comfortable with. So if you are over here thinking about this worship model from a particular church or denomination or style and they're over in this camp, you want to try and get to more of a level playing field so that you can be building in the same sense of unity. And the last one is just understanding what their personal preferences are. Are they big hymn goers? Do they love the traditional style of worship or do they love new songs and the fresh sound? and different artists? Do they like singing songs that are a bit more familiar? Uh, do they like introducing new songs in particular to keep the diet of the church a little bit more fresh? So understanding uh, what your senior pastor actually thinks about worship by asking those few questions will be really helpful in the first step of writing your vision for your worship ministry. The second group of people that you should be connecting with when it comes to writing and establishing a worship ministry vision is the leadership of your local church. So whether you've got different titles for that, executive leaders or elders, um, you're going to go through and understand what the church believes about worship and have discussions so again you're building for the same purpose. So understanding that worship ministry is actually a dependent ministry, it's not separate from the rest of the church. This is important to understand um, and that it's founded in the Word of God and that there are principles that your local church leadership would like to govern the worship ministry. So taking the time to discuss this and fully understand um, so that you aren't building something over here, you know, maybe putting lots of hymns in the list uh, when maybe they're wanting something a bit more contemporary or vice versa um, and understanding what the governing principles are. So there's there's trends and stylistic preferences that you all, you know, everybody has their own opinion about worship. So you might finish a worship set and you have various people saying, I loved it, oh, that was interesting. You'll have lots of different varying opinions, uh, a broad spectrum of them. So understanding what your church leadership thinks about them, but also what the governing principles are, okay? The third group of people that you should be really connecting with when it comes to the vision of your worship department is the worship team leadership. So you want to be selecting people that are going to be speaking positively about the vision to other members of the team, understanding what the core values are and championing those within the culture of your worship community. So understanding that um, we've talked to our senior pastor and understanding what he or she is believing about worship and we're on the same page, building in the same direction. Um, you're also in alignment and unity with the church leadership, but then the actual vision gets carried out by the leaders within your worship ministry. So selecting leaders that understand what the vision is and then actually carry that out is also really important. I'd like to end here with a quote from Wayne Cadero um, from the book called Doing Church as a Team. It says, remember this, people need a vision, 
but vision needs people. So you can have a vision, but if nobody buys into it, you don't have anything. So actually coming together and writing a worship vision based on value and biblical principle and understanding of leadership, preference, all of that kind of stuff is really important. But the implementation of the vision gets carried out on the leaders within the worship ministry as they are reiterating the vision and core values.